everyone, it's Megan with AboveRubyStudio.com and today I'm going to show you one of the simplest things that you can create with your Cricut Imagine that is just beautiful for fun home decor or for a gift. Um, so simple and easy, easy, easy to create um, if you know how to use your Cricut Imagine and if you watch some of my previous videos and other videos I do show how to use the Cricut Imagine and I also have the Cricut Imagine A to Z DVD which shows you, um, you know, step by step how to use it from taking it out of the box and so on. So what I did was I cut out um, from the Better Together Cr Cricut cartridge, I cut out these birds on the branch and I just did them in the combination. I didn't cut out the separate layers, I just did the one piece and I cut it out at six and a half inches and then I cut out the layers of just the flowers. So I just cut out these flowers here um, and I cut them out at four and a half inches relative size. So they came out to be the size. Um, I didn't really plan what size they were going to be. I just kind of guessed. And then I cut out this Friends Forever, which is also from this cartridge. I'll show you. It's one of the extra icons. And I cut that out at three and a half, I'm sorry, two and a half inches high from tallest to lowest point. I have some Viva Decor pearl pens and I also have some glossy Mod Podge and this is from Plaid and it's really really great. It's a water-based sealer and glue and I'm using this right on just a piece of artist canvas and I have some glue stuck on here still so my canvas is stuck here but I just picked up a three pack of this canvas. It looks just like this. You can pick it up at AC Moore or Michaels or any of those places and it's like just a couple dollars and you get three of them in one pack. And you can do a lot of different things with them, but I'm not really, um, you know, a crazy great artist of any sort. But um, with the Cricut Imagine and Cricut cutouts and things like that, you can do really cute things with a piece of canvas. So um, it's really nice. And all you need to do for what, for what I'm creating is take your Mod Podge, so simple, seriously, so simple, and a paintbrush. And what we're going to do is just glue right along the back of the birds here. And I'm just going to kind of dobble it on this Mod Podge and I'm going to paste it on the back and you don't need to do this. I just do this because I feel like it gives me a better coat and I know what I'm doing better here. And then we're just going to place it down on our piece of canvas. Now with this Mod Podge and doing this with the Cricut Imagine, the ink of the Imagine will bleed with the glue. And I'm okay with that because I feel like it gives me a really pretty nice little background kind of thing happening. And I just think it's a really fun look. So there are other things you can use different transfers and different laminates and all kinds of different things that um, you could, you know, laminate your artwork down and do all those things. Um, but I'm just letting some of that ink just bleed and I'm using that really as the background on my canvas. So I'm painting my entire canvas, pulling this color straight on down through and covering it with Mod Podge, just like this. You can paint around and pull it out and just get those colors going everywhere. You don't need to go too crazy to really get that color just being beautiful on your canvas. And this is the glossy finish. There are matte finishes and other different finishes that you can use and create with. There's even a glow in the dark finish that's really, really cool. If you really want to have some fun for Halloween or a kid's craft room or something like that, that's really, really cool to use. All right, so I'm just painting this all over the place here, going a little crazy. Now I'm going to place down my Friends Forever. And I'm going to paint right on the back. Glob that on there. This is going to go right here. And the yellow is going to bleed once again, so don't be afraid of that. That is the look I'm going for just to really kind of blend things together. I think it kind of looks pretty just to have a little bit of color on the back of the canvas that matches, you know, because it's bled right from directly from without painting or inking or doing anything along those lines. 
So it's just a different kind of quick tutorial of something that you can create. I did this for um, a friend, actually for a project, and I can show you that, how it looks all completed, and it's really cool. Really like the way it turned out, which is with the gloss. And then you can place the flowers down, kind of anywhere you want them to go. And you really do want to paint over top so that you get the glossy finish on top of your, your image that you're painting so that it all coordinates together. All right, so that quick and simple, we created a simple Thing to hang that is just beautiful and you can create a whole bunch of different things but I'm going to use some Viva Decor uh, pearl pen to finish this off and I'm just going to use some green right on the leaves that are here. This green matches really well with the color in here. It's a fun three-dimensional look. Use some sunny yellow. And then just finish it off with some cream color pearl pen. And I'm just going to do that on the actual canvas itself. All right, and there you have a very simple, fun to hang canvas that you can give as a really great gift to somebody. Print it out on your Cricut Imagine and paste it on there with a little bit of glossy Mod Podge, and there you have it. So I hope that you enjoyed. Quick Tuesday tutorial. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.